So let's take a look at the Garmin Z82. This is quite a remarkable device. I've used it for a few weeks. I've used it in the UK as well as abroad. This is a rangefinder. So it's the Approach Z82 from Garmin. So it's a rangefinder, you know, find your yardage, but it's also got onboard GPS. It does a lot of things. To be fair, this blew me away how good this device was. Now, if you're thinking of buying a Garmin Z82 and you like the information in this video, you want to support the channel, link down below. Use that link to support the channel. Find out the price at the moment for the Z82. So the build quality of the Z82 from Garmin and out of the box, the packaging of all the Garmin products is top quality. Like these are premium products and it feels great coming out of the box. You get all the appropriate charging and cables and everything you need, information, what have you, the booklets, which I never read <laughs> on the device. In the hand, it feels great. It's got a little thumb rest at the bottom. So the nice curve here at the bottom, it feels solid. It feels sturdy. It feels well made. It's got the grip as well around the outside also comes with a carry case which we will talk about as the video goes on you've got a little ring at the front here where you can um, get the focus point right for your eye prescription if you like you see the lenses at the front the optics felt good out of the box we'll work that into the full review as we get it out on the course but the unit felt quality like you felt like you have an expensive item in your hand So Garmin say you get the most accurate results with this rangefinder up to 10 inches of the flag is what they're saying. The features that I found were amazing on this device. The first one is it comes loaded 42,000 plus preloaded courses. I've used been on four different courses with this device finds them instantly one location has two courses and it just tells you you know it gives you the list which one do you want to play and i tell it which one i'm playing and off you go the gps is super clever as well i jump around holes when i'm filming on a golf course i'm not just following the holes i'm moving around and getting out of the way of green keepers and players it follows it knows when i've moved a hole if it ever doesn't move a hole you can just go into the settings on the top you basically got these three buttons on the top and you just move them around and find the hole. You can just change hole. So super intuitive and easy to use. Generally, I didn't have to do that. It just knew I'd move location and put me on a new hole. It has this system called Flag Finder. So basically you point your laser somewhere at the green, you hit the top button to get your yardage and then you just scan. And it, as soon as it finds the flag, buzzes and locks on and gives you the yardages that you need. It was unbelievably clever for finding the flag. So I have seen some people use rain finders, you know, they're a bit wobbly and they can't, they go, oh, I can't get the flag, can't get the flag. No problem with this. You literally, I was one handing it. So I was holding camera in one hand and just one handing it. Normally you kind of steady and it was just getting it with this real flag finding locking on. Super impressed with that. As it's a range finder with GPS as well, basically you could get front, middle and back numbers also. These are the numbers I always use. So this is where this comes in as a really smart device because I like GPS, I like front, middle and back. I'm playing casually, I just want front, middle and back, hit shots, bang, I go. If I was competing and some situations where I play courses were a little bit more advanced with their green structure and I wanna know exact yardages, that's when I would want a range finder. And often I don't have one and I'm just relying on my GPS but this having both gave me the best of both worlds front middle and back I love it simple bang front middle and back off I go choose my club and if I wanted that exact yardage I can get it by just buzzing that flag it also works wind into any of your readings so you've got slope readings obviously you've got your slope which you would have on a, any high end range finder so it's going to work in the distance going downhill uphill but also it's going to work in the weather as well this can be toggled on and off because there's a competition mode if you want to obviously when you're not allowed to use some of the features like slope and maybe weather um, you can just toggle them off in the back end also there's also an indication light that it notifies other people that you're in tournament mode so it actually will allow other people to know that you're not turning that on and turning it off which i know you wouldn't do 
Also comes with Find My Garmin, so you're never going to lose it behind because you can locate it like you do in the, uh, the Apple ecosystem. You know, find your AirPods and what have you. So you're not going to lose your expensive rangefinder stroke GPS with the Garmin Find My Garmin device, which was, was clever. We get green view. So basically you get a hole up the left side. So you've got your optics, which are really clear in the screen. And then up the left hand side, you basically get a map of the hole, which allows you to really plan the hole out. You can look at where the hazards are. You can see the front of the bunk of the back, where the water starts, where it ends, if it's on the left, if it's on the right. Because through the range finder, you're basically getting a GPS built into it, which is unique and super clever. It basically gives you every bit of information you could ever need. I love the green view. The green view allows you to see the shape of the green. It also gives this arc uh, distance finder. So basically, let's say I'm the green or the flag is 170, it will give you the arc of your distances. Because you imagine if it goes left or if it goes right, it's not going to go as far on a 3D world on a 2D map. It'll be this arc system like you see when you look up like ranges on launch monitors. They're not straight lines. You get these kind of arcing ones if you look on a 2D range. Um, and so you can really start to work out, right, if I hit this 170 and I push it or pull it, do I cover the bunker? No, I don't. You think so? There's more green at the back. I'm going to push to the back or vice versa. Keep it to the front because you'll hit that bunker if you hit that distance. The arc view, laser range arc, they call it, is so smart in a range finder from the GPS all through your optics in your eye. So, again, it's really quick because you're doing it all in one move. You look, you've got your pinned on yardage if you buzz it and then on the left side as well you simply got the range view arc or the whole view that by far blows this out of the water for any other device if you want everything in one unit on blind shots, it's got a system called Find My Pin. So basically, you can use the device to locate your pin, even if you're going over a hill or on blind shots where you can't see the flag. It'll pinpoint where the flag is, allowing you to then pick your marker to hit that blind shot, which was so clever. It's also got green contour data. If you want it to, it's an add-on. There's a subscription, but it has, if you want that, you can look at the green contours, which is fantastic for any putting kind of ideas and obviously approach play to see where the hot spots are on the green the big slopes off the roll roll offs and where the tiers are and where the flat parts are so as an all-round device i have to say it like blew me away it just it had everything in one that worked and was intuitive to use so the device comes with a rechargeable battery, getting up to 15 hours of GPS life. I used it all week in Spain, five days uh, every day. Didn't have to recharge. It has about 30% charge left. Simple USB on the front. The device has some levels of waterproofing. It connects to your smartphone. Uh, it's got Bluetooth connectivity and the connectivity through the Garmin app is seamless. You just tell it what device you've got, what one's nearby, and it pairs with it. Like it was so easy to do. You can use it for a digital scorecard. I personally don't wouldn't use it for that, but if you do like pushing one of the three buttons to mark your score down, you can. It's got image stabilization, so it is very good optics and stable when you look at distance. It can measure distances up to 450 yards away, so it's going to measure everything you need. And it's full color OLED display. The device is premium and it feels that way. When it comes to the price, it's certainly not cheap, as you would expect. It's GPS and a rangefinder and one of the top quality rangefinders you can get. I think the features you're getting for the money make a lot of sense. Like if you're someone looking at a GPS system and a rangefinder, you are paying twice, which in effect is the cost of this device. Can you do it cheaper? Yes, you certainly can. Can you get the features that this device offers? No, you can't. So it's expensive, but you are getting unique features to the Garmin Z82, making it, in my opinion, good value if you're going to use those features. Let's talk about some of the cons. Like it's a great device, but every device has some cons. Number one, I travel a lot. You can't remove the battery. The battery you charge, it's fixed in there. So I have to take it on the plane with me. I can't put it in the hole because you can't put batteries in your luggage. I know lots of you do, you shouldn't do. So that's a bit annoying. Other range finders, I can take the battery out, just put the little battery in my bag that goes on the plane and put this device in with my golf bag. Other con, 
is the carry case that it comes with isn't very good. It's actually quite annoying. The little bit at the top gets in the way. You can't really put it in with one hand, which is annoying. I would like to see a more classic kind of clamshell carry case like you see on many top end. Would it stop me buying it? No. Is it annoying? Yes, it is a bit. So in conclusion, the Garmin Z82 has to be one of the most impressive handheld GPS stroke rangefinder devices I've ever used. The features are there to really help you learn about your game and improve your game and understand distances in a whole new level. Having that combination of GPS and rangefinder is fantastic. I think for some people, they just want a rangefinder, they can pick up, shoot, don't want to push buttons, don't want to load courses. That's fine, get a different rangefinder. Not to say you can't use it that way. You can just not select course and just hit the button, play golf, and use it as a rangefinder on its own. That, in my opinion, would be a waste of money because you can get way cheaper ones that do that. But if you want the added bonus of GPS and rangefinder, the arc system on the green so you can see what you're covering is fantastic. The easiness of use and setup and the feel in the hand is as good as anything. I think if you want the best of both worlds, this is going to offer that. Now, remember, if you want to buy this product, you want to support the channel, use the link down below in my description to find out the best price at the moment. Also, if you want to find out what their GPS watches do, because they've got some great GPS watches out, check this video out. It's got all the information you're going to need to know what, might, what device might be best for you.